Hey everybody, if you're starting a YouTube channel and you want to be able to edit your videos for free and you're not looking for any like fancy editing, then I want to show you this. It's called ClipChamp. So it's super easy. It's free. I'll show you really quick. And this isn't sponsored by them or anything. This is something that one of my friends, Brenda, had told me about. So I looked into it and it's it's almost identical to Movavi, which is what I use. Um <laughs> That's my preferred way of editing YouTube videos. So just to look at the pricing really quick, you can see for free, you have your uh, video editing and anything <clears throat> anything that is included in your plan, it's not going to watermark um, your videos. So you're gonna go to sign up. I'm already signed up, so I'm not gonna show you that process, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you're gonna click on create new video, start from scratch and this is going to um, allow you to create your videos. So you'll see here on the side, there are all these different things. This is very, 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 very similar to um, like Canva, how it's set up or to Movavi, which is what I use. So to do anything, you need to have a video that you're going to edit. So you can either record it right in here. So you can record your screen and your camera, allow the microphone. So now what am I going to share? I can record my screen. What am I going to share? Just choose this. Got a lot of tabs open. Okay. So today I'm going to be making a YouTube video talking to you how, talking to you about how you can do a journey with your junior Girl Scout troops, blah, 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 blah. And I'm really excited because I've been a Girl Scout troop leader for about five minutes now. Seriously, I'm, I'm super new to it. Um, so you record your video, right? So this is the whole video that I'm recording. Is this? Got a lot of tab. Okay. Okay. So now you see your video is right in here. So. Um, okay. So today I'm going to be making a... I don't want all of that in there. I'm going to hit this little split part. And I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it. Over here, you can delete this. But if you right click and delete it, it's going to delete all the gaps. So if you've got other gaps, you can do that too. Because you don't want like, you don't want to get your whole video all done and everything. And then you go in to do your video and um, there's a whole like two minute blank space where it just goes black and nothing happens there. And what's really cool about this is you can actually change this and you can move it around. So if you've been using OBS, this is cooler than OBS because you can see it while you're doing the recording. So if say I wanted to, okay, I'm gonna clip this. And over here, I want it to change in the middle of the video. So I can move it. I'm going to be making a YouTube video. See that? See how I just moved it in the middle of the video? Um, so that's really cool when you're doing the screen. Um, when you're doing screen shares and you're recording screen shares. So like right now I'm recording the screen share on Zoom um, and it just, it works so much better if I were to be recording the screen share in ClipChamp, but I couldn't do that and show you how to do it at the same time. So, so I have showed you how to clip things. I have showed you, you can shorten it. So you can take this right here and you can drag it and shorten it. Same thing, maybe you don't want this to be on the whole thing. So I change it here. Now there's nothing in the background. So maybe I want to make me big for this part. So now it'll look like this. And I'm really excited because I've been a Girl Scout troop leader for about five minutes now. All right, maybe I want to put this back here. So I want it to come back up. And maybe like I've got this like, I've got this part here, but I don't, I don't want that whole part there. I don't need to have my windows and stuff there. So I can go ahead and I can clip it and make my little journey thing a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to clip this off too. So it's just black now. It's now seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm going to clip this. You guys see what I'm doing here? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay. Seriously, I'm, I'm okay. See what I did there? So you can drag it around. So this is what they call cutting. You're going to be cutting your clips, cut out all the ums, the uhs, the false starts, the, you know, anything that you messed up. I want to tell my videos to subscribe. Go into Content Library and you can look for the subscribe stickers. 
So maybe I like, um, Oh, let's see. What do I like? I like this one. So I'm going to put this one. I'm going to add, see it's free. I'm going to add it to my media. I'm going to add it to my timeline. So now you're going to see here, I can take this and I can drag it wherever I want it to be drug to. So maybe I say right here, like, and subscribe. So now watch this part of the about video. How you can do a journey with your junior Girl Scout troops, blah, 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 blah. And maybe I want it to go faster. So make sure you click on that media, go over to speed and you can change the speed of that clip. So now it's going to go really fast. It's going to go a lot faster. A YouTube video talking to you how, talking to you about how you can do a journey with your. You can also come over here and you can change the audio. So if you're really loud or really quiet, you can change the audio up to 200%. I'm just going to keep it on 100% here. You can go to filters. And if you want to change your appearance here, you can change your appearance. You'll see that some of these are, if they've got a little gem here, you have to upgrade in order to use them. But if they don't, they're free and you can change how it looks, um, you know, whatever might suit your video here. So maybe I want to change it to winter and then I can make it intense, more intense, less intense. So I want to add captions. I can turn on auto captions on YouTube does this too, but if you want it right on your video, you can do that too. So I can turn on auto captions, whatever language I am using, I can choose that language. And um, maybe I want to filter the profanity here. I'm going to transcribe the media and it's actually going to put my captions in the video. I can adjust the colors. So maybe I want it more exposed, less exposed. Going back into captions, you'll click on the captions button there and you can just go down and change anything. So maybe I didn't say YouTube video. Maybe I said Facebook. Okay. So I can change that. So now it's going to say, yeah. Or if you have it translated into a different language and you want to put those captions on there, really good for English teachers. So we've recorded and we've created, you can do it with just the camera. You can do it just the screen. You can do just audio. So say I have um, a little part right here and I just, you know, I, I'm going to be putting some things in here. I just want to record my voice. I can do that. So this is the part where I will just record my voice and it's not going to do anything except for have my voice on there, right? Save and edit and you'll see here. So this is the part where I will just record my voice and it's not going to do anything. Okay, same thing. Um, the audio is a little bit loud, so I'll turn it down some. And I don't like that entirely. I want something else on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look for a picture um, and you can find other B-rolls, um, other little videos and pictures. You can do that perfectly fine um, on other things, but there are options in here. So maybe I want something that shows like a video camera. So let's see what they've got here. There's a little video clip. So um, these ones, you can see that they are not free. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to add that in there. All right. Except for have my voice on there. I'm making a YouTube video. Now you can also add your media. So I'm going to import media. I'm going to import, um, uh, a Bengal tiger. This was for my daughter's 4-H project. Now, whatever, this could be a picture of yours, a video of yours. You're just going to drag it and drop it wherever you want it to go. You can resize it. You can drag it around. Um, maybe I want like another picture there. So you could pretend this is a different picture. Say you had something where you're talking about, list. you're making a list on something and you want it to pop, you want a different picture or video to pop up for every list. You can do that by coming over here and dragging it on the timeline where you want it to be. So maybe I want this to show up here and then I want this one to pop up second. Um, and then this one to pop up third. I want them all at the end of the same time as the voice recorder. So I 
line them all up like that. And then I just kind of put them on here so that they're kind of going like that. So this is the part where I will just record my voice. And you can do this with their files. You can do it with your files. Now, if you want background sounds, background music, there are a couple of different services that you can use. And I can make a video. I have some free options, but today I'm just going to show you how to use the services that are in here. So you're going to go in to content library and look up music. Okay. And then you're going to look for the music that does not have this on it. So free to use. We'll go to this one. I'm just going to pick Paradise Park and drag it onto my timeline. Maybe I want it to be right there. Okay. It's going to be way too loud. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to change the volume. The volume is usually going to be like, uh, maybe like five, 6%, um, usually not any higher than that, depending on the sound. And maybe I want it to fade in. So it starts off really quiet and gets really loud. And maybe I want it to fade out. So I'll choose that too. So watch this. I'm making a YouTube video talking to you how talking to you about how you can do a journey with your junior Girl Scout troops. Blah 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 blah. Maybe I want to make it a little bit quieter because that was still a little bit loud. Making a YouTube video talking to you how talking to you about how you can do a journey with your junior Girl Scout troops. Blah 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 blah. Perfect. Maybe I want the music to go a little bit slower or a little bit faster. I can change that too. Now, say you want to use a template. They have templates in here. So you can see like these are end screen templates. That's my timeline. I kind of like that. Okay. So I actually want that to go at the very end. I'm going to drag it all. Drag it all to the end. So then you can click on your text here and you can edit it. So your text here, instead of saying your video, you can say, um, and then when you do your end screen, you can actually have like your video of a tiger there or something, right? So you can kind of like play around with this. Voice on there. <laughs> yeah, I did that. You can also, I mean, the, that's just one you can do an intro video or an, yeah, an, an, a music intro. Now I want some text on there on my intro video. So I'm just going to grab something that I like, and I'm going to put it right here. And this is going to say, I'll click on it. It's going to say, click on text. And I want it to say, Doing your Girl Scouts, I want it to match the color of Girl Scouts, so I'll make it green. And then here you'll see my intro. Mm -hmm. This one's really cool. If you come over here, go to audio and detach your audio, you can make your audio separate. This makes editing a lot easier because you can see on here, I can see on here exactly where my spaces are. So watch this. Blah, blah. Right? So now I can come over here. I can take my clip bar, my clippy, my clippy thingy, and I can clip out exactly where my lulls are because I know it's right there and right there. So that's able to be clipped. So you've got templates, you've got text, you've got transitions. I don't think I really showed you how to do transi transitions. So for transitions, just click the transition that you want it to be. This is the easiest way to do it. So click the little plus button in there and then pick the transition that you want it to be. So I want this to be a heart. So it's gonna be five minutes now. Seriously, I'm, I'm super new to it. So this is, the um, okay. now I can also go over to transitions. I can click this one and I can just drag it over there where I want it to be. Uh, and and the free version, you do not have a brand kit. So I'm not gonna show you that one. All right, so now your video is all done. You're ready to upload it. You're just gonna go over to export and choose which one you want. So high quality. And then you're going to export your video. You're going to export it. It's going to save it to wherever you save it to. Now you've got your YouTube video that's ready to upload. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you subscribe to see more content and click that bell notification. Give it a thumbs up if it was, and I will see you guys all later.